Yeah, you, you gotta get the full thing. It's all on iTunes. You can get that. Uh, all available on Tuesday. Yeah, Best Buy, Target, right. Walmart. You know what I'm saying? All the mom and pop shops out mm -hmm. there. Let me turn my, my market down. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's it's gonna be at all the Best Buys, Target, Walmart, mom and pop shops. But you can pre-order it on iTunes right now. Um, the iTunes version of the album is going to have that fireworks record featuring T.I. Mm -hmm. and this other joint called What Took You So Long. A total of 16 songs on the iTunes version of the album. All right, so were you and T.I., did y'all get in the studio for that? That was be before his um, government, you know, situation or after? How did y'all come together? Oh, that was after. That? You know, okay. So I wanted to make sure that everything was breezy, breezy, and it was right. time to get busy, you know, get back in the studio and make it happen. He, uh... So like, I, I asked him for 16 bars. He gave me 24. He's like, God. Man, like, <laughs> he was ready, huh? <laughs> man, popping, man. I didn't want to stop. <laughs> that little hook came back in. I got mad almost, man. Come on, get up. I had some more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got time to the studio. Get an open invitation. It's in stores this Tuesday. The independent effort. You're going out here doing your thing. You said you weren't going to wait for them to get interested in and them being the label, uh, a Tyrese project. You're going to put it out there and, you know, go to the people. Absolutely. I think, um, I don't know, I, I found in the past that when, like, the last 15 artists that probably came here, the real question is, did you really pick that album cover? Are these really the songs that you wanted on your album? Mm -hmm. Did you really want to wear that outfit or shoot that type of video mm -hmm. or hire that director? So sometimes it's not that they are running your world, but you can feel like if you don't do a lot of the things that they want you to do and you have your opinion and what direction you want to go in and how you want to do it you can find yourself feeling like well if i don't listen to them and do a lot of these things they want me to do as a major label they they can decide to not get behind my album now tyrese you do realize everybody is everyone wants to feel like they're capable of handling all that but it is a huge responsibility <laughs> what you're saying is you're the label mm -hmm. you're the ideas you pick the song uh, you might write some of the songs. You might pick the producers. Now let's put the album on the side. You're also a movie star. Mm -hmm. and you got tons of movies. Put that to the side. You also write books. Let's mm -hmm. put that to the side. You also got whatever your personal issues are and family issues. You got that. I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a lot on the plate. Everyone is not capable of handling what comes on the plate. Yes, we are. You think? The only limits that are created are the ones we create for ourselves. Even if you're treading off into unfamiliar territory, if you're showing up and putting your best foot forward, you will get some results. I think a lot of people are afraid of the unfamiliar. I've never done that before, so let me just stay in this box. I, that's just never been who I am. I've always been a go-getter. I mean, I'm going I'm to I'm drop this on you, and we're going to get back into this. Maybe, may, but, but maybe Tyrese is a different type of artist, I guess is what I'm saying. I've seen, you know, the, how they had the behind the music, and you watched right. the artist, and there was one and particular actor. Apart. And he, he just said, I could not handle the pressure that was expected of me. Because they look, like you said what you say earlier, they see the money, they see you having fun, they see the girl, oh man, Tyrese in the movie, he's doing it real big. They don't see all the work. Yeah, that, it's, it's, and yours is, is, is triple, work. quadruple because it, of all the other things you got going on. It goes back to that quote about the circle of five. And of course I didn't do all of this on my own. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. And so, but you got to have at least enough common sense to say, well, I don't specialize in this, but you do. And when we, when we win, it becomes a direct reflection of us. Now, you know, Grandma once said, common sense ain't all that common. <laughs> I mean, that's true, but so you have people around you that you trust to put the input on that, you know, on, on, on everything that needs, okay, the music this, when it comes to the Hollywood stuff, okay, you listen to my best friend, so I'm going to go holler that wheel about mm -hmm. this, and all of that, you just keep the smart people around you. Yeah, absolutely, they make my life better. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They give me the heads up of what's around the corner before we get there. Was it hard for you to listen, though, to other people, though? Is it, no. is it hard to take advice or to, like, no. you know, if somebody's like, yo, Tyrese, you're kind of wilding out right now, like, you need to... No, no, if they say that, that's the best thing that could ever happen, I mean, okay. just tell me the truth. It makes your life better. I agree with that. Tyrese is in the building. Yeah, I don't think everybody's open-minded like a Tyrese. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to have some people, life is better for them to let other people handle. I'm not saying all. Well, you know, there's this thing called self-sabotage and self-defeat. I absolutely believe in that Where as well. it's like, it's a part of a family cycle. Like, you are some way, somehow going to figure out a way to mess things up. <laughs> That's just, it's just the way it is. 
you got a blessing and an opportunity and a situation right in front of you and you're gonna figure out a way to mess it up and for me I used to suffer from that I used to go through that until somebody made me aware of it y'all should google it self-sabotage self-defeat what did you used to do like what was I mean, where were you and you were like dang was it a situation like I mean at know. one point when I did the movie Waist Deep if y'all go and look at it again I ain't throwing myself under the bus but I was probably about 255 pounds in that movie mm -hmm. and so who are you to show up on a movie set as the star of the movie and you looking like your big brother like they didn't hire you to show up and look like that and so when you show up looking wrong like that out of shape, unprofessional, not on top of your game, when you know you're supposed to be doing better. That's self-sabotage. And mm -hmm. who pulled your coat for coat then? Oh, it was, it was the people in my life, man. Okay. Like, like I said, that was around the time when I started connecting with Will. And he said to me that when you show up on a movie set in particular, because this is his world, mm -hmm. and you're out of shape, you don't have your dialogue memorized on the script, you're running late, you're talking and texting on your phone in between takes. You're sending a signal without anybody running up to you to say, Hey, Tyrese, you're sending a signal that you don't care about people on this set, survival, or them feeding their families. Mm -hmm. Because nobody wants to show up and see you in a movie at 300 pounds when they're used to seeing you look sexy with the muscles and, and lean and mean. So the, this may... This may stop people from wanting to show up to see this movie because they're not getting what they used to. So you've decided you don't care about people's success mm -hmm. and their